Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Sunday today, I'm three weeks out from the show. Uh, it's going to be kind of a short show for you today. Uh, a lot of stuff going on, a lot of prep for the show. Uh, boy's birthday, likewise, you know, niece's birthday today. There's just a lot of stuff going on in life. Um, I want to talk to you about a couple things. A couple things I forgot to talk about too. Uh, one of them was uh, uh, the early uh, October issue. I got a magazine cover, so that's cool. Uh, Pro Fitness. Uh, Performance press. So I got an article in here. Uh, so that's that's cool. That was uh, that was pretty pretty neat. I like that. Um, so that happened. Uh, well, a lot of stuff's been happening actually. Uh, but anyway, I want to tell you guys about that if you didn't already know. Uh, there's a couple other things I want to talk about, like you know, just just little tricks that I do, uh, things that help me succeed in the gym. Uh, you know, one of the big things I've done, and I've done this for about a year and a half, is is I pray for every workout. Every workout, I pray for uh, basically not get hurt. You know, I haven't ever been hurt lifting weights, not anything major. Uh, I pray before I work out. You know, that's a, a, he, he's my uh, workout partner. It's just that simple. Uh, and, you know, th so that's a success for me in itself right there. The other thing that I do is, uh, you know, I've talked about some of my past uh, on prior episodes, but you know, I have a long history of being a bad dude. <laughs> you know, I spent most of my life a really bad, bad guy. And a lot of stuff I'm not even going to say on camera what stuff I did, but um, you know, so for some of you that are watching now that know me, you know how I was back then. But for me to switch from then to now took a lot of work, but really it took uh, changing my line of thinking around. And but the basis of all my line of thinking, I think, was a lot of anger and, uh, you know, a lot of anger just for the world itself and stuff going on and just just angry. You know, and I've always been that way. And, and maybe before I, I lashed out on drugs and crime and, you know, all the, the bad stuff. And then I figured out I can just pick, pick weights up and take it out on the weights. And so that's what I do. When I go in, every single workout I go in there, I go in there with the intensity that I'm gonna kill those weights, you know. Uh, all the anger in me, everything that's, everything comes out of that at that moment in time. Uh, and that way, I never, I never walk away thinking I could have done more or I didn't do well enough. I did it as best as I possibly could have done, and that's because I harness that anger in the right way. I take it out on the weights, you know. And and I'm a really nice guy. I mean, for those of you know know me, you don't you wouldn't think that I have an anger problem. Well, it's because I. I put it in the right way so uh, you, if you guys want that edge that's the edge everything that bottled up inside that you guys just keep and don't nobody knows about you gotta let it out because it will build up it will build up and it'll come out on somebody or something or and you're gonna regret so take it out on what you love so during that during that process that I'm talking about comes the the mind muscle connection okay now that's a term I mean, you may or may not have heard before but it's a bodybuilding term it's a real term to be able to control that muscle that you're working and it's very hard to do but that's part of that 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 line of thinking that you you literally got to get inside of that muscle and make that muscle work for what you want it for with that anger with that rage with that intensity to make that muscle work, make that muscle grow. You command your body, you make it grow. It does what you tell it to do. Don't forget that. Your body works for you. <laughs> so my muscle connection is something that uh, it, it took me years to, uh, certain body parts came up quicker for me. Uh, certain of them uh, took a while. Uh, this day and age, I think I got them all pretty good. Uh, as far as that goes, there's always room for improvement, but as far as the mind muscle connection goes, I think I'm pretty good on that now. I can I can go in and just work out my chest with a bench press and rather rather than work out my arms and everything else or whatever whatever the, the case may be, and just work out my lats and just pump up my lats and, and whatnot. Uh, but but my muscle connection is really important. And those two things, that, that that intensity, that mind muscle connection, those all have to happen for bodybuilding. Uh, and you're gonna get that by that rage, that rage. So <laughs> that rage, you know, that rage is a good thing and it can be a bad thing. So use it in a good way. Uh, 
So that's enough of that. If you guys want to know any more about it, I'll probably touch on that later on different things. But another thing I want to show you guys just for, uh, well, just because, uh, a little trick I do with eating. Uh, you know, I, 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 I've disclosed my diet, obviously. I eat a lot of rice. Rice gets boring. I like the sticky rice because it's a little less boring than other rice. And uh, I can choke it down. And, and oh, I enjoy eating the rice, actually. Maybe not six cups a day, but, you know, <laughs> do what I got to do. And there's a purpose. There's always a purpose for everything you do in bodybuilding. Everything. Everything you do, there's a purpose. You, so and that's another thing. You, you don't put anything off the side. Everything has a purpose. And you do it for a purpose for that goal. So anyway, back to the rice. So my evening meal, what I like to do uh, is make rice pudding. So uh, well, I'll just bring you in the kitchen and I'll make some rice pudding and show you how I do it. I'll go ahead and make this for my next meal because I gotta eat two cups of rice here in a couple minutes anyway, so that's what I will do. I cook my rice in the stove top. <laughs> the The major reason is because I bought a uh, I bought a, a rice cooker once, and then the day I bought it, it broke, and I got mad, and I just said, "Screw rice cookers." <laughs> so I'll probably get one eventually again, but <laughs> so anyway, so we got our cooked rice here. Measuring out two cups of rice because that's what I need. The sticky rice. I always just throw my uh, my cup back in the uh, rice deal and put it in the fridge because I'm going to use it again. So that's kind of what I do. Okay, proteins on my diet. So I'm supposed to have four protein, four scoops of protein per day. One of my scoops will go right in here. So this is on my diet. Next thing is stevia. No calories, no sugar, no carbs, no nothing. Don't taste very good, but it's not bad in this. Since we can't have sugar, dump a little bit of that on there. A little bit of uh, cinnamon, well actually a lot of cinnamon. I believe cinnamon is a good fat burner too. Uh, a dash of nutmeg. Okay, I right, come over to the sink, put a little bit of water in it. Sorry for the dishes. Mix it all up. And we got our rice pudding. A little less boring than just eating plain old rice. <laughs> I don't eat every meal. Uh, I don't, only, don't normally even eat it right now. I normally eat this with my my last uh, actual food meal, which is uh, cod, cucumber, and, and rice. So this is how I cook my rice in the end for the end of the evening. Sometimes I have it with my, my uh, chicken meal, which is before that one. My next meal I actually gotta eat is beef and, uh, and rice. I'm just gonna replace this with the rice and eat this because I already made it. But. Uh, that's what I do with my rice. So, so there, there's things that you can do to make to make your bodybuilding diet a little less boring. Because frankly, it's hard to stick. I mean, the diet's the hardest part. It's always been the hardest part for me. I'm sure it's the hardest part for most people. Because you got to eat the same thing all the time, and it's got to, you know, the bodybuilder's diet's all the same. There's not much different from mine to anybody else's. Just the amount of food that you're eating. That's that's about the only difference. The meats are the same. The carbs are the same. Everything's the same. So, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to get yourself in the point where you're puking your food up, which I've been there, because you don't want to eat it, it tastes like crap, and you're puking it up, and then you're mad at yourself because, oh crap, I just spent all the time eating the food, and now I didn't even get it down, and I've done this before, that's why I know about it. So, you have to do things to make your food a little more tolerable. Uh, this go-around for me has been alright. Uh, last go-around wasn't, wasn't so alright in the beginning. I had, to, I had to get rid of tilapia for, for that reason. I just, I couldn't stomach it. I was puking it up and then I get mad at myself because now I just wasted all that food and now I gotta, I'm not getting my protein, I gotta replace that meal, you know. So, so uh, uh, keep it, kind of keep it a little bit exciting 
as much as you can without cheating. Okay, so there's no sugar in this. There's no nothing in there that I cannot have that's not on my diet. So, so that's where we're at. So, and I enjoy it. It's pretty good. You may not like it. I like it. It works for me. It's better than eating rice at the end of the day. And and I'm the type of person at night. I, I want to eat sweet stuff anyway. I've always been that way. So I like salty stuff during the day. I like sweet stuff at night. So that that kind of takes care of my sweet tooth. Uh, speaking of sweet stuff, I, I have such a bad sweet tooth that. Uh, <laughs> when I when I'm when I'm on my diet, I have to. I have a son, you know, a three-year-old son. Well, he just turned four yesterday, but uh, all his he's got a lot of snack food, so we hide that. Uh, it's over by my wife's side of the bed. So if I uh, get up in the middle of the night and I trip over there, she's gonna hear me, and then I have some accountability. And I've I've attempted many times. Now, <laughs> not gonna lie, everybody's cheated before, but it happens. So you know, it's just part of what happens. But. So I know that I'm going to do this. Like I came home with a bunch of cupcakes yesterday that looked really good from his birthday. So what do I do? I grab the cupcakes, I put them over on her side of the bed so I can't get to them. So if I get to them, she's gonna know about it. And the worst thing is the boy's gonna come up to me and go, Daddy, why'd you eat all my cupcakes? So, and which has happened before. So, so anyway, uh, those little tricks, man, you know, this is all a, a learning process for all of us. So including my family and myself and my friends. So uh, we're just kind of doing the best we can and. And just letting you know what I do. So, anyway, you guys, I'll see you next week. We'll have a better video for you. I'll have more time. And uh, like and subscribe. Have a good uh, rest of your week.